today I am really excited to talk with you all about how to make a tornado in a bottle. This is one of my favorite experiments because I remember doing this as a young girl when I was in school. I don't quite remember the grade. It was either elementary or middle school, but I remember this experiment so well. And so I want to show you how to create your own tornado in a bottle. Now, if you've been following us for the past several weeks, we've talked about tornadoes a couple of times and we actually went more in detail uh, with some of those lessons as well. So you can certainly go back and watch uh, some of the tornado lessons that we've talked about uh, because we are in tornado season. It was something that we should definitely be prepared for, but today I'm going to show you how to create this tornado on your own in your house. All right, so here's what you'll need. Uh, you will need two bottles. So I've got two water bottles. These are 1.5 liter bottles. All right, one of them you need to fill up with water, about halfway is fine. I also have some duct tape. I've got some scissors here. And for the little people, the children, you'll wanna make sure that you have an adult with you so that they can cut the duct tape for you. And then I also have the two tops to the water bottles. And basically what this is for and why I cut holes in them is to create that funnel effect. So we wanna create that sort of narrowing uh, that you typically see with tornadoes. So in order to create that, I actually cut out the uh, parts of the, the water bottle tops here. I actually saw online, um, I think it's called Tornado Tube. I, I've seen that and I, I thought that was so cool, but I don't have that. So I kind of created my own here with the two tops of the water bottle. Also, last but not least, I've got a paper towel because I actually tried this experiment a couple of times before I jumped on camera, just to make sure I remembered everything and to make sure it worked. Uh, so just in case some water spills, but I also have dish detergent, okay? And I have the dish detergent because the dish detergent is going to help to make the tornado a little bit more pronounced. Um, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. And I'm not using a lot of dish detergent. You can see it here. It's not a lot at all. Actually, I just spilled a little bit, <laughs> that's okay. Uh, and we're actually not even gonna use all that we have on this spoon either, so. All right, so let's get to work. We're going to put the tops on the bottles here. We're gonna screw those on nice and tight. And remember our dish detergent? Well, we are going to put one drop, one drop of dish detergent. And that is it. We're putting that in, this, in the water here. You do not want to use too much soap. And actually, that was two drops. But you just want one drop of dish detergent. You do not need a lot at all because with dish, dish detergent, we know a little goes a long way, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and start cutting the duct tape. So again, remember, Children, you'll need uh, parents to help you out or an adult to help you out and be careful with these scissors. I should be handling these a little bit better. There we go. All right, so we'll cut this one piece here and I'm just gonna go ahead and set this up here and then I'm going to take the empty water bottles, so the one with no water, and I'm going to put it on top of the water bottle here. So the empty one goes on top of the one with water. All right, and what we're going to do is go ahead and duct tape this down. We're duct taping this down. Again, be careful with the scissors. Get an adult if you can. And actually I wouldn't advise using scissors at all, certainly get an adult to cut those. All right, so we've got our setup here. So we've got the bottle with the water and the drop of dish detergent here on the bottom. We've got the empty bottle on top here. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn it upside down and then we're going to spin it as we do, as we do so because that spinning effect is going to give us that tornado that we're looking for. All right, let's try it, see what we get. 
Do you see it? There you go. How cool is that? Let's see it again. All right, so I'm gonna flip this back over and we're going to spin it. There we go. And see the dish detergent makes it a little bit more pronounced so you can see it. I actually tried it without the dish detergent too and it was still fine, you could see it, but you could certainly see it better with the dish detergent. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to try this experiment on your own. Let me know if you try it and what it looks like and if, if it turned out right for you. Um, and yeah, this was a lot of fun. So try it yourself and let me know what you think.